Thank you, Sophia. It's a huge pleasure to be here, and I'm just very, very briefly going to uh, introduce the women we have with us today representing Context Produce Work Form. Context Work Produce Form. Keep changing it. Uh, this is Tessa Baring, Jane Goldman, Anne Laura Coxum, Lynn Davidson, and Alice Tarbuck. Uh, we are a modern feminist collective online writing project of 12 Edinburgh-based women writers. We're writing in response at Sophia Howe's very kind invitation to Feminista, this exhibition, a wonderful text by Monica Ross called History or Not, and especially the Postal Art Project, which came about in the late 1970s, and uh, which involved women uh, making artworks in their households of uh, materials and using techniques from the home and then posting it to one another, generating home-based art collections, which eventually did end up in the gallery. We were very interested in using technology of our time and the stuff of our art form, which is writing and performance primarily, to echo the Postal Art Project. So most of our writing was done in a shared Google uh, online document. And the entire collection of work produced now will be available shortly on the Cooper Gallery website. We very much invite you to read the entire piece. But in two short actions today, you will be hearing extracts from the full work. What do you see? at first glance. A blank page, not blank, a transparent page, all the way back to the first invisible cradle. Let's offer up invisible things, a headache in the morning, a tooth beneath a pillow, tulips in a darkened room, shh, hello damp beneath the carpet, hello mold, hello mouse, Hello, kind, repairing needle. And all that cross-stitch, that woman in stitches who laughed and laughed, knots along her spine. Hello, face. We rustle on the page and hesitate. Where does the sun really shine from? That time we baked gingerbread women and they came out bloated. The daisies with their throats cut the endless conveyor belts where we stood and stood and stood. What the paper says, what the gauze says. Just how lonely is your vestigial amanuensis? Spare her invisible loveliness, solitary solution. Now she is dispensable. Think who these days needs a short hand secretary, typist, her interstitial uselessness surely offends. Despair, nobody's mother, nobody's murder. She died at the sight of her wounds. Her inky nib bulges. Who in hell issues invitations, step right up, go ahead, occupy this territory. Tincture loaded, bristle plumps, stain, drop, meniscus, lip kiss, Sheer clay, lips glisten, sheet sheen, perineal edge, less a fold in air. This gristle will pierce, will sluice any pen. Front crawl. Love swimming pools more than bus rides even. I swam back and forth and back and forth between walls. Then I picked the wrong salad that wasn't a salad in the snack bar. 
My body is my working tool, my voice, my hands, my eyes, my silhouette, my movement, my body I feel needs to be as narrow as possible to bear the repeated dissection, the peeling and pillage by 120 people, 240 eyes on my body, back and forth over a week. I finished this just as they finished their writing exercise. My daughter says, you're lucky growing up with protest songs. All we have are tweets and texts, the post always and never here. We jam together over little screens like parents round a crib for copied messages and faces. She buys a camper van, builds furniture that ebbs and flows for nights, for days, a bed, a couch and drives herself into the desert, kindles a fire, suspends a billy, feeds flames with fallen ghost gum branches for the sudden scented snap, for the infusion. Through the dark, the Milky Way flows low and slowly, brushing the roof of the van and the brave jut of its open windows. What can I do? but write it, line out the song, share it. It's there in you, as it is in me, the memory of the axe inside the tree. An anonymous is hemming and darning. Anonymous is fishing out something from the freezer and sets it to thawing. Anonymous keeps change in a decorative sugar bowl from Stockton. Anonymous counts the postage out, then gets the tea on. Anonymous is familiar with that sigh when she opens the box. It is only what I had to hand. It isn't much to see. I hope it hasn't broken. I'm sorry. On the way it took so long, it's just... Anonymous hears the spin cycle stop. Anonymous lets the phone ring out. Anonymous runs her finger down the back of a plastic doll with plastic irons instead of hands and very little hair. Anonymous lets her children go with sticky hands so she can make the morning train, miserable bitches. Anonymous looks at the other woman, bitter and twisted. Anonymous weeps when she meets the others, not suitable for children. Anonymous sees her broken china there as if it is as beautiful as an object from a studio made by the hands of an art degree and she smiles. Anonymous flips to the arts pages. They have ignored the broken china, even though she saw it there and heard it, loud and constant, clear as ringing, as if it was always in the process of being thrown and smashing. Anonymous starts the kettle, saves the newspaper up for kindling, always plenty more crockery in a room full of silent women. Oh, mama, can you feel me? Oh, mama, can you hear me? Oh, mama, where you steal me? Oh, mama, bleed me. Oh, mama, can you dream me? Oh, mama, can you see me? Oh, mama, it is in me. Oh, mama, oak tree. Oh, mama, can you wrench me? Oh, mama, I bleed. Oh, mama, here the leaves are. Oh, mama, take the lead. Oh, mama, there's diseases. Oh, mama, save me. Oh, mama, I'm a loner. Oh, mama, heal me. Oh, mama, I'm a demon. Oh, mama, I'm a seed. Oh, mama, here's the tree bark. Oh, mama, I'm the tree. Oh, mama, why'd you birth me? Oh, mama, why'd you bleed? Oh, mama, here's the axe blade. Oh, mama, it's in me. Oh, mama, I am freed now. Oh, mama, I'm in need. 
Oh, mama, am I dreaming? Oh, mama, am I me? Thank you.